Are you ready? Yeah. Hello there everybody. On behalf of the temple, I would like to say a big thank you to Dominic, a big thank you to Layla, a big thank you to Vodka, and a big thank you to Ecstasy. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs>
about white people at times. Team Saint Tropez? No. As Dan said, stop it. There are people out there with vitiligo who are changing colours and they can't help it. <sighs> you all need to stop it because you are just spitting in the face of these people with a naturally occurring condition. Behave yourselves. When is the right time to fart in front of your partner? For me personally, I mean, you go to the bathroom, let them off. Don't be letting them off around me. I'll tell you one story actually. I had a naked girl on my bed. I'm coming over, she starts giggling, right? And I'm thinking, what are you, so funny? My penis not even out yet. What's so funny? <laughs> she, <laughs> she starts farting like <laughs> And she's giggling. But as she's giggling, more farts are coming out. And she's naked. She hasn't got clothes on in my bed and she's farting raw. I actually kicked her out. I said, it's not even funny. My face is so straight, she's like, <laughs> come on. I was like, no, it's not actually funny. Because what you don't understand is those are sheets I have to sleep on. And they have your farts encrusted in them. I'm not about that brown life, boy. I told her to kick out. She didn't get no calls back from me because that's sick. Why do I wanna smell your guts? When God said, let there be light, he also said fart. Let it free. Bask in the ambiance. If you are going to be in a relationship with somebody, you should be yourself. And farting is a natural part of being a human. In fact, it's a natural part of the world. All right, before I even answer this question, I need to let you lot know something. <laughs> There's different categories of fart. You know what I mean? There's Farts have origin. Some come from your belly, some come from trapped wind, and some come, you know, from the from the, the dirt. That's, that's the best place for the dirt. Once you've let one go, or even if it's on, on route, you kind of know where it's coming from, but you can't share every fart. You can end a relationship that would otherwise have been fine because you shared a dirt fart. You don't share dirt. Yeah. I don't care how long. That's not even relationship, even friends. You don't share dirt with your friends, man. You keep the dirt to yourself. You should only smell the most beautiful things that your partner has to offer. And um, yeah, I, it's, it's kind of counterproductive to share something so nasty. It smells like ass and doo doo. No, I disagree. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> no. <laughs> A relationship is not always going to be hugs, roses, and puppies. <laughs> you will have ups and downs in a relationship. <laughs> you are <a> an idiot. <laughs> Please continue. You <laughs> if you're going to be with somebody, you have to take them for what they are, good and bad. It's like marriage, for better or worse. And if you can't deal with the worst at the beginning, you're never going to be able to deal with the worst. So don't hide that. That doesn't mean you go and fart on their head. That's an entirely different situation. But just let it be. Do me a favor. Think about the sexiest celebrity in the world. That, oh, you're like, oh, this guy's so hot. Oh, this girl's so hot. Now picture their face like this. Like that, yeah? Like what? And then just picture them farting. Just how disgusting is that? Are they sexy anymore? That's what I... Oh man. That's what I thought. They're not sexy anymore. That's why you should never fart in front of your partner. Don't listen to this guy. You know who I'm talking about. He's like, day one. Day two. <laughs> day three. Get base. Get base. Then you got that day four one up. You know that one, innit? I don't get people like that. I don't need to smell your guts the first day. Can you imagine the girls like, oh, yo, finally going out, going on our first date. You're in Nando, she's just cut. No, every time she cuts into chickens, like, it's disgusting. No one should be fighting it. Just go to the bathroom and let them off. But then again, if you're in a hotel room and they can hear you, got that's what you got to do. Like, you put the shower on, they can't hear you. Then they let them off with it. That's what I have to do because mine's allowed. Okay, I'm done. This week's sacrifice. Snoopzilla. So this week's sacrifice is Snoop Dogg, Snoop Lion, Snoopzilla. I am not saying that this guy cannot make good music, so don't confuse me. I'm saying he needs to leave the entertainment business alone. He needs to stop. That's all. I think that Snoop just needs to decide who and what he is going to be. How many names has this guy had? I don't know whether he has schizophrenia, or if he's just smoked himself crazy, but every two weeks, he is somebody else. Snoop, who are you? Do you know anymore? Snoop's gonna start using that bleach cream and be some rock artist next year. He just needs to stop now. 
Forget the Zilla stuff. I like the funk stuff. The hip hop stuff, fine. But I'm still mad for the lion stuff, man. When I when I see him going to that rusted territory, I was like, do you know what, Snoop? Even you don't want to go your idea, you? you sit you really Oh, okay. He started singing and then I can't forgive him for the reggae reggae. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. So watch next year do the bleach and the rock star and watch. So there I was in the 1920s. The Snoop Dogg was making music. Snoop was making reggae before reggae existed. Bob Marley is the reincarnation of Snoop Lion. That's the truth. Snoop's like 150 years old. Obviously, Snoop's been doing this forever. I am Snoop Zilla. I am from the prehistoric era. I was riding dinosaurs like a boss. For shizzle dizzle? <laughs> I'm Snoop. <laughs> What's with this voice? You sound like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> That's how you speak sometimes. Ooh, though, for shizzle cats? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say it. For sure, little kids, I'm Snoop Mouse. Woohoo! Join me next week for another episode of Temple. Can you join me next week for another episode of Temple? Be sure to bring your weed for Shizzle. <laughs> <laughs> and there I was, hoping you'd come back next